The Young and the Restless, The Perils of Tracy Abbott The sun shone brightly over Paris, casting a warm glow on the romantic streets and bustling cafés. Tracy Abbott, a woman of grace and elegance, had found herself enchanted by the city's charm and the attentions of a seemingly perfect man, Dr. Alan Walker. Their romance had blossomed quickly, and Tracy was swept off her feet, unaware of the dark intentions lurking behind Alan's charming facade. Back in Genoa City, Ashley Abbott's health was deteriorating. The usually strong and resilient woman had been facing a series of mysterious ailments that seemed to defy medical explanation. Tracy, caught up in her whirlwind romance, had been neglecting the troubling news from home. Her focus was entirely on Alan, who had carefully crafted his persona to be the epitome of kindness and understanding. However, Alan was not the man he appeared to be. Beneath the veneer of a caring doctor lay a calculating and sinister mind. Alan's interest in Tracy was far from genuine, he had been orchestrating a meticulous plan to entrap her, leveraging her vulnerabilities and trust. His ultimate goal was to use Tracy as a pawn in a much larger scheme, one that would bring chaos to the Abbott family and serve the interests of his true master, Victor Newman. Victor had long harbored ambitions of destroying Jack Abbott and taking over Jabot Cosmetics. Alan, his secret weapon, had been planted in Paris with a mission to infiltrate the Abbott family through Tracy. Victor knew that by destabilizing the family, particularly by targeting Tracy and Ashley, he could weaken Jack's resolve and force him into a position of vulnerability. Alan's plan was both cunning and ruthless. He had gained Tracy's trust by presenting himself as the ideal partner, someone who understood her needs and desires. Meanwhile, he had been subtly influencing Ashley's mental state, ensuring that her condition worsened to the point of desperation. Alan's ultimate aim was to drive Ashley into a state of madness, rendering her incapable of supporting her brother in his time of need. One evening, as Tracy and Alan dined at a quaint Parisian restaurant, Alan decided it was time to set his plan into motion. He had carefully chosen this moment, knowing that Tracy was completely enamored with him and unsuspecting of his true nature. After dinner, they took a romantic walk along the Seine, the city's lights reflecting off the water. It was here that Alan made his move. With a calculated smile, Alan suggested they take a detour through a quieter part of the city, away from the crowds. Tracy, trusting him implicitly, agreed without hesitation. As they walked, Alan led her to a secluded alleyway. In a swift and practiced motion, he subdued Tracy, placing her into the back of a waiting van. The trap had been sprung. Back in Genoa City, the news of Tracy's disappearance sent shockwaves through the Abbott family. Jack Abbott, already reeling from the stress of Ashley's condition, was now faced with the terrifying prospect of losing his beloved sister. The kidnappers' demands were clear, Jack was to comply with their instructions or risk Tracy's life. Alan, now revealing his true allegiance, contacted Jack under the guise of a concerned third party. He informed Jack that Tracy's life depended on his cooperation and that failure to comply would result in dire consequences. Jack, torn between anger and fear, found himself in an impossible situation. He knew that Victor was likely behind this, using Alan as his instrument of terror. As the days passed, Alan's psychological torment of Ashley continued. He manipulated her into believing that her condition was far worse than it actually was, driving her to the brink of insanity. Ashley, once a pillar of strength, was now a shadow of her former self, consumed by paranoia and fear. The Abbott family was crumbling, and Victor's plan was nearing fruition. However, Jack Abbott was not one to be easily defeated. Despite the overwhelming odds, he began to piece together the truth. He enlisted the help of Michael Baldwin, a skilled attorney with connections in high places. Together, they launched a covert investigation into Alan's background, uncovering his ties to Victor and his role in the kidnapping. Armed with this knowledge, Jack and Michael devised a counterplan. They coordinated with the authorities to track Alan's movements and gather the necessary evidence to expose him. Meanwhile, Jack maintained communication with Alan, feigning compliance to buy time. The climax of this tense standoff occurred in a dramatic showdown. Jack, with the support of law enforcement, confronted Alan in a remote location where Tracy was being held. A struggle ensued, but ultimately, Alan was apprehended, and Tracy was rescued, shaken but unharmed. <laughs>